this, this, this looks right interesting. Now. This yeah. Is interesting. So I I really haven't I'm not sure I really don't know what is this yet. <laughs> so I guess let me have a guess. Sure. It do have it do use battery. It does. Oh. Yes, there is. It's not on right now though. So when it's on, it will be even more steady. Yes. So if I turn this on. And so the lights light up. Yeah. And then you'll see the motor kick in. So now. We want you to come on in and put an arm and vest on and check out all about the new Teddy Camp Ball. There's magic in there. <laughs> so if you want to move your pan, you can from here at the gimbal. There you go. Can it tilt? You can tilt as well. And it can even hold its tilt right here. Wow. <laughs> so you can do like slow. Correct. If you control here, it's a little easier. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like those other gimbal which it no. use motor. Those are well, actually use motor counter. Which this this does as well. So go ahead and let go. So that's the motor working there. Yeah. And what we do is we ground it with our hand. But we allow for precision movement. So like on a three-axis gimbal, when you move right like this, it takes a second for it to yeah, pan. Yeah, yeah. Whereas here we can do it yeah. that quick and fast. Cause, cause you, Basically, just control with your head, Correct. rather than you relying on the control knob yes. on those gimbal. Correct. Because I think a lot of those gimbal, what um, annoy me is that usually when you want to pan quickly, it don't follow, it don't follow so quick. If I want quick pan, it's not, it's not possible. No. How do you set it up for my phone? Sure. Spring loaded. Now your phone's a lot lighter, so yep. what I'm going to do is take some weights off. You probably don't need as many as you would need for my phone. Uh, just one more thing. No screws. No screws, just the base one. That one screws in first. And these are all magnets. No tools required. Better than IKEA. <laughs> and so, still pretty light, so we're going to roll this little dial here and that pulls the weight up oh. to the top so if I roll this dial uh, see that yeah, weight shifting yeah, yeah. so I'm pulling the weight all the way up because your phone's very light okay? I see. so now that's better it's a lot closer so now I'm just gonna it's tilting to the left I'm just gonna slide your phone until it balances itself and you want to balance it so the motors don't work too hard yeah so yeah. balance it as lightly as possible then I just turn it on get off and running and shooting there it is. So it's also like those gimbal that if you balance it better, the motor don't have to work that hard and then you right. use less power. Yes, exactly. You won't have to charge it as much. And, and the battery should last for about eight hours if you've got it well balanced. This is easy, really nice. Let's do a pan. This is preferred by cinematographers around the entire world. When you see in Steadicam, it has bolt. Basically, you can upside down. <laughs> yeah, you, exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, I have been, I have been trying upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to do a great job. Upside down. <laughs> Australian mode. Brilliant. If your batteries run out. You still have a steady cam. It still works mechanically as well. Awesome, interesting. And here's one more part for you to see. Oh, one more. When you're done. One more thing. Yeah. All folds up that small. Especially this is more easy to put it in your bag than other gimbal. You see those gimbal looks really fragile to throw in your bag. 
So it's only for Pong, right? Correct, only for phones. Um, when we get funded for Kickstarter, though, we are going to add a GoPro mount on there. Uh, because if you take this out and close the top, you can, in theory, put a GoPro yeah, yeah, yeah. on there as well. I think that if the weight is right, correct. I probably can pick whatever 360. Correct, yes. Yeah, it would have to be this, this would be pretty cool for 360. Yeah, yeah. I think. So apparently, it is on Kickstarter. Only two days is already like 50% of the target. And also, Steadicam is thinking about if what if they put this technology to a bigger gimbal, like for a mirrorless camera or maybe DSLR. That would be really cool. It's really clever to combine a traditional Steadicam with gimbal technology. Best of both worlds.